Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the spiritual guidance reading covering the energies that will be surrounding whichever uh, Sag I'm reading for. I don't I suddenly lost my thoughts. I thought of a Scorpio and I got a bunch of images so if that's someone you're connecting with, that was just confirmation from spirit. All right, let's continue. <clears throat> Pardon my cold. Dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless whichever Sagittarius I am reading for during this general reading. Sun, moon, or rising, male or female, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, and so on. Please bless this Sagittarius with clearly defined messages describing the energies that will be available for them to work with. In the first half of February of 2022. Wow. So this Sag is starting off rather quickly. Something is transpiring, doorways are opening, or you're thinking about moving quickly uh, into some form of new direction here. Hoping maybe uh, to bring a certain path to an end. So let's continue. Okay, so in the thoughts position, we do have two number fives here. Fives representing obstacles and challenges and spirit's advice when the fives show up is that it is time indeed to obtain some form of wisdom and knowledge, right? So uh, it's time to uh, make some plans. I'm hearing summer plans and get excited about uh, that time. And in the meantime, Trust that this moment of pause here in the first half of February for you, Sag, uh, is really a time to heal from certain obstacles and challenges, to manifest now uh, something new. So there is healing that is taking place uh, that will maybe eventually cause uh, separation and forward movement, or that's what this Sagittarius is re uh, thinking about. Now, in the relationship sector of the circle spread, we have the hawk spirit energy. So, spirit saying, let spirit be your guide. Okay, with the number 32, we've got the number 3, the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, and the number 2, a new path. Spirit saying, we are guiding you and in relation to another into the direction of a new path as you heal and release certain obstacles and challenges. Wow, something might come to mind here in the first half of February. So, let's continue. In the creative aspects position of the circle spread, we had this beautiful bee spirit energy. I think Scorpio had that, talking about new doorways, <clears throat> new paths of sorts. But this card is in your creative aspects position, Sag. So this is the number seven, a very spiritual number. This is, I am going to continue to create as a new doorway opens, or knowing that eventually I'll be able to take action. That spirit is guiding me in relation to another or others here, and that sweet results await uh, as a result of certain creativity, or as you start to create uh, the thoughts and the plans of the year of 2022. So in the actions position, we have the porcupine spirit energy, time for the beginner mind. It is time to recognize uh, all that you've learned and how you now, just like the collective, are rising into a higher, more defined spiritual part of yourself. Taking what you have learned, what you are planning, and, and eventually getting excited about taking action. Okay, maybe uh, it's winter time and right now it's just a time to plan and have faith to heal and know that spirit will eventually guide you into the direction of sweet results. Sweet results as to what you are wanting to create in the future here. So in the emotional aspects position, we have my favorite number 44 representing a solid foundation in the area of home and spirituality, a solid foundation in the area of money and your foundation. So emotionally, there's a realization that I am healing from what was. Maybe I wanted to quick take some form of action in the past, but now I'm reclaiming my emotional power because I know that spirit is guiding me forward into the direction where I can create sweet results where I can take action to begin something new. In the subconscious position, we have the Nightingale spirit. So we have spirit just kind of nudging this Sagittarius to recognize uh, all of the love they currently have in their life. Family and friends, no matter what the circumstances, trusting that love is all around you. 
and that spirit has guided your path and your soul connections, right? Family and friends and everyone you're connected to, uh, to be in this path. And sweet results are going to start to come as you put your efforts into manifesting something for this year or for this summer. So in the day-to-day -day aspects position, we have the elephant spirit energy. So learning from the past, moving beyond obstacles and challenges and needing to heal in the area of your thoughts. There is love all around you. There's no where else you need to go. But what you need to do, Spirit saying, is now reclaim your power, your stability, and begin something uh, because there are sweet results that await ahead of you in relation to another here. So in the inner strengths position, we've got the stag spirit energy, the strength to take the lead, to think on your feet, to create something new. To recognize uh, what a solid and beautiful foundation represents to you and that and knowing because spirit is telling you right now that eventually after getting through obstacles and challenges here spirits going to tell you when it's time to take the lead uh, when the obstacles fall away doorways open and then we can begin a new chapter in the year of 2022 or that's what this Sag is thinking about in the first half of February. So in a three card summary here with the same spirit animal oracle deck, we've got the wolf spirit, the giraffe spirit, and the deer spirit. So right now is a time like we talked about to obtain some knowledge, to research, to plan. Uh, there are some who want to claim their independence and move forward uh, because you're feeling maybe a little bit alone. And if that's the case, Spirit's offering up the horse spirit energy saying, uh, now you can claim your freedom by creating the next chapter of your life in an excited way. Trust in divine detours. Don't focus too much on um, the obstacles and challenges, but instead trust that Spirit's guiding you to get back into your emotional power and manifest a beautiful foundation in the journey ahead of you here. By the second week of February of 2022, we have the Badger Spirit and the Giraffe Spirit. And basically, this is Spirit saying it is time to plan a foundation of creativity, home, family, and to be fearless and bold as you plan. Uh, eventually, you will start to see the big picture with the Giraffe Spirit and eventually bring an end to one path and move into the direction of another. So right now, the spiritual advice is to take time to heal your thoughts and be in the here and now. Things might speed up rather quickly. So I feel like there's planning and there's like, oh, I just can't wait. And then something happens here with the antelope spirit and spirit is nudging the Sagittarius with the deer spirit energy uh, to bring a gentle touch, right? Things are happening quickly. So just kind of watch your words, take the lead and continue to plan with spirit. Wow. Wow. So Spirit's again saying, we are guiding you. We have a plan for you. Um, just be generous to others, caring, loving, and kind as you sit in this in-between moment. In fact, embrace this in-between moment and know uh, that it's okay to maintain some form of boundaries. So someone here may be just kind of running from a situation because they feel like their boundaries are not being heard. But Spirit, look at again, is saying, Sagittarius, it's time for playfulness. Right? When we look at a situation in a more positive mindset, then things start to uh, roll in your favor. But when we think of the negative, we end up feeling kind of stuck or trapped here. So I'm going to confirm and clarify with the Gypsy Oracle deck. I like to use this deck for confirmation and clarification because sometimes it helps me to pinpoint a specific person, place, circumstance, situation, environment, and so on. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please confirm and clarify the messages we have previously discussed in this circle spread for whichever Sagittarius needs to hear this information most. Yeah, so someone's really thinking, oh my gosh, I'm about ready to hop, skip, and jump right out of here and bring an end to a situation uh, because I'm sitting here deep in thought. Thinking and thinking and thinking at the beginning of February. Now some, like I said, are thinking about falseness. Falseness in oneself, falseness in another, uh, thinking things through and avoiding acting in energies that are false because it is really truly time to heal, to get beyond certain obstacles and to manifest a new direction because love is all around you and the path you are in 
and Spirit is guiding you in relation to others in the first half of February of 2022. So see, I keep feeling like another person here. If you haven't met them yet, uh, you may run into them or have. I'm getting the 27th of January. You could be thinking about or connecting with someone here, which brings on this energy of love. So remember, Spirit's your guide here. Someone may be wanting to move into the direction of love in the relationship sector, but they're fearing energies of falseness, which is a very common energy right now. We need to learn from our mistakes and redefine ourselves in 2022. So in the creative aspects position, we have the death card. Okay, so do I want to bring an end to a situation? Um, is what I'm thinking about false in any way? How do I need to heal and... Uh, let spirit guide me. I'm feeling into February. Yeah, through to the end of February. Some are realizing that something has come to an end, but spirit saying, guess what? New doorways are opening with a number seven and sweet results await. So in your actions position, we have this old woman energy. So male or female, this is someone who's been there and they've done that and they've grown through some form of lessons and they have evolved and now understand why they experienced certain people places and circumstances some may be thinking about because he's looking kind of this direction an older woman in the first half of february thinking about maybe again how far you have come and the things you have learned and the fact that you can indeed move into the direction of greater things and bring something to an end if you are fearing some form of falseness pardon me so in the emotional aspects position, we have the journey card, reclaiming your power, journeying into a new direction, or at least hoping to do so. But again, spirit saying, think on your feet. If something happens or did happen quickly and unexpectedly, mm -hmm. think things through. In the subconscious position, we have faithfulness. So now we have the falseness card in someone's thoughts and faithfulness in their subconscious. And that's pretty much what Spirit's saying, is love is all around you, faithfulness is all around you. So really think things through in the area of love, because Spirit's trying to guide you to heal and to move into new beginnings, new directions. And simultaneously, right, with the elephant spirit, in the day-to-day -day aspects position, learning from what didn't work in the past. So, yep, there's that surprise energy. So if someone hasn't come into your life quickly and unexpectedly, and in some cases regarding someone tied to the past, this is unexpected connections from the past and someone thinking, is this about falseness? Uh, do I want to journey into their direction? Or they journeyed into my direction and now I don't know if this is love or if I should bring an end to the situation. Is there faithfulness? <sighs> So in the inner strengths position, we have the reunion card. Oh my, just like we were talking about. So a union or a reunion is what Spirit's giving you the strength to decipher. And to remember you are not who you used to be. It's time to redefine who you are and take the lead, right? Someone comes towards you and you're fearing falseness, then uh, journey away, bring it to an end, and speak your truth. Learn from the past and Spirit will then guide you, if you're single, into the direction of of something better or at least into the direction of feeling very powerful emotionally so I'm going to close with the energy Oracle deck by Sandra Ann Taylor any additional messages or spiritual guidance here for this Sagittarius in the first half of February of 2022 okay so yeah <laughs> Some Sages are sitting here thinking about their financial constraints, thinking about money. And maybe that is what's making you think about energies of falseness. But with the snake spirit energy, it's time to take the things that you have learned and heal from an attachment. I knew that was coming. Yep. And it's the number five. When dealing with obstacles and challenges, this too shall pass. 
see in the relationship sector we have a sagittarius who's feeling this all tied up energy in the area of love but spirit saying let us guide you let us free you from an attachment to something whereby you are meant to by now heal so in the creative aspects position, there is indecision here. So again, spirit saying, if you bring it into a situation because you're feeling stuck or trapped, be sure of where you're headed next. Some are going to repeat unhealthy patterns, behaviors, or cycles here, and some are going to rise above and take the lead over their emotional power. So in the uh, actions position, we have strategy. Time for a beginner mind. Time to strategize in the area of money, finances, unions, or reunions with others. For emotionally, we have the cornucopia energy. Oh my gosh, someone is coming in to make an offer of a fulfilling path, abundance. And that is what's going to bring you back into your power. Someone or so, you or someone around you may hear about an offer or opportunity and they're strategizing how to move forward and you start to rethink, am I stuck or trapped? Or should I follow the nighting bird, nightingale spirit and uh, trust that love is all around me where I'm at? Yeah, so new doorways will open up if you move forward faithfully. Spirits say when a doorway opens, you're going to get really excited. You're going to recognize that you already are already dressed for this party. Should I step into the unknown and move into the direction of someone who is faithful? Day to day, we have community. So someone here, this Sag, is connecting out via community, society, social media, technology, and maybe there was an unexpected communication that came in that puts you in this energy of indecision. But Spirit saying, think on your feet. Make the highest, best decision. You are now a more highly redefined soul, and Spirit's actually trying to guide you into the direction of abundance here. So your inner strengths position, spirit say, we're giving you the strength to hang in there for some till mid-February, for others all the way through to the end of February of 2022. Uh, this is the strength to recognize that things went full circle and uh, those journeys, those connections no longer serve you, that it is indeed time to go into the portal of a new beginning. So you may be strategizing a new path here in by mid to end of February, Sag where there is abundance and you can then free your mind from what you were uh, attached to that could very well for some bring this storm warning energy so for confirmation and clarification we've got the first position representing the first week of february uh someone here who is abundant stable and secure who and you maybe or or this is you uh, thinking about maybe marriage commitment partnerships with someone here trying to obtain some wisdom and knowledge as to is this a balanced connection or should i walk away so in comes archangel ariel with the second chakra saying it's time to sit down rest rejuvenate focus on something for an hour or two each day where you can write draw paint do photography pottery poetry uh, keep yourself grounded uh, and, and research slowly all situations because there's a blossoming abundance of money and a door to value and money opening up here. Someone's heart is open and someone's feeling rather hostile. So we don't want to have a broken heart. We want to receive appreciation for our efforts here. Storm warning and the magician. So spirits say you are the magician. You've come a long way. Uh, you have grown and evolved. And in your what right hand, you have this water energy of spirit, spiritual clarity. And over here, we have uh, creativity and and uh, direction. So you can manifest a storm field, or you can recognize that you can sidestep chaos now because you have grown into the magician you can manifest a caring connection with someone or you can only focus on the anxiety of what is transpiring here the angel of balance then there's action there's some form of journey here and the doorway to romance opens back up 
someone's shining like the sun by mid to end of February and uh, boom, your attention goes back into uh, someone here that you feel stuck or tied to. So definitely a, a careful message about uh, faithfulness. Very important here because faithfulness is going to bring playfulness in a new direction where you step into the portal of a great abundance and all your worries wash away, even with financial constraints. All right, so should these messages have resonated for you or you have questions about your own personal journey, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings, and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month, or yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video. I am still offering the Winter Special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. So thank you so very much for your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. Thank you to those of you who come to me for month-to-month -month readings and who follow up those readings with those emails, letting me know exactly how these messages help to guide you into a higher, better direction. Uh, thank you as well so very, very much to those of you who have continued to donate to this channel to keep it up and running. Take care. God bless.